We've had a plethora of LEGO Star Wars games over the last 18 years, but here we are with the amazing Skywalker Saga to combine all nine films together in one of the biggest LEGO games yet. So let's put in those hours of chair warming and get ourselves the platinum for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. With the entire galaxy to explore, the whole Star Wars cinematic story to delve into and 100%, tons of challenges to win and countless secrets to uncover, all in classic humorous LEGO fashion. And we have 46 trophies to track down. Now let's start our journey in chronological order with the Phantom Menace as we join Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn aboard the Trade Federation battleship and in typical LEGO fashion start smashing the place up to gain as many studs as possible. There is a trophy for getting your hands on 10 billion studs after all. Wait what? You guys got yourself a ship? Oh, and 17,000 studs, that is so random. Instead of rushing through the story, I took my sweet time to enjoy the game and I tried to do as much exploration and complete as many puzzles as I could on the way throughout the open galaxy. It's a massive step up from the last LEGO Star Wars game I played and it's genuinely a great game. If you put a different skin on the game that wasn't LEGO, I'm sure it'll be hailed as a top Star Wars experience. Anyway, after escaping the Dioxys gas and dealing with Droidica, we escaped and bumped into everyone's favorite amphibian, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> We're making our way down down to Gungan Town. The city of the Gungans is an explorable hub and there's someone here we need to ask a favour of. Before our next couple trophies, we have an appointment with Boss Nass and we need to borrow the bongo to progress further and start our next story mission. <laughs> But of course, I was going to hang out with the Gungans for a while and grab myself some Kyber Bricks for completing the galaxy's many puzzles. There are a whopping 1,200 Kyber Bricks to collect, but we only need 1,000 for a gold trophy. I say only, but that's still an absolutely staggering amount of collectibles, and they aren't even the only ones. Done with collectibles for now, we all hop into our bongo and escape some nasty looking aquatic beasts. These vehicle segments are some of the only levels where you can pick up all the collectibles on your first playthrough, because character select does not matter at all when you're in a vehicle. So surprisingly, I managed a clean sweep of this level, minus the true Jedi status for collecting a certain amount of studs, unfortunately, but with red brick multipliers that we can earn, this will be a breeze later on. In each story level, we must collect five hidden mini kits, as you would expect from a LEGO game. But also thrown in the mix, we have three level challenges to complete per level, which will have you playing the levels differently, speed running, or hunting for secrets. There's always a bigger fish. And after escaping yet another horror from the deep, we pick up a trophy for completing all the level challenges in this level, and a second one moments after for grabbing all the mini kits too. One less thing to worry about on the end game cleanup, so I was very happy with this one. Ooh, impressive, most impressive. Beat all level challenges in a single level. Nice, nice. Oh, you're gonna get eaten too. Ooh, a fine addition to my collection as well. Collect all mini kits in a single level. Yeah, two in one. Then, with no more trophies until we're near the end of episode 1, we breeze through the Darth Maul fight with its unfortunate ending, missing every single challenge and minikit along the way. Oops. Then we smash some droids for the Gungans before they eventually succumb to the droid masses. No giving up, General Jaja! Be something or something! I give up. I give up. I give up. And then we have Baby Vader being an absolute boss in the Naboo Starfighter to wrap up the episode and grab us an easy trophy gained only during a flying level. Before starting our attack on the Trade Federation, I shot down a Kyber Comet to grab myself five Kyber Bricks. These comets are above most planets in the game and are a great help in getting a brick quick. Finally, we can get on with tearing the Trade Federation a new one and picking up two trophies while we do it. The one I mentioned earlier and one for finally getting enough studs for True Jedi. Oh, you think you're some kind of Jedi? Achieve true Jedi in a single level. Hey. <laughs> I can fly anything. Another trophy. Complete a flight level without dying. <laughs> and that, my friends, is episode one over with a bang. And all of the first time this and that trophy is out of the way, so we can delve deeper into the grind and speed things up a bit. Next, of course, is Attack of the Clones, and we start this one off with a visit to Dex in Coruscant's Uskru district, and turning Obi-Wan into a waitress to play a bit of Dino Dash. You're welcome. Yet, our first trophy of this episode pops when Attack of the Clones really gets going, which is when Obi-Wan arrives at the cloning facility on Kamino. But first, of course, Obi-Wan meets the bounty hunter legend Jango Fett. Do you like your up? 
and once sussing him out, they get in a bit of a scrappy predicament. Once we have finished this boss fight with Django, we can explore the facility with no restraints. R4, what are you doing, mate? With R4 being no help whatsoever, Obi-Wan takes down Django so that he retreats. Then once Obi-Wan has stuck his amazing tracking beacon onto Django's ship, we can crack on with the Kamino collectibles. We are free of the story shackles, we can change characters and hit up our first shooting range, where we earn a Wombo Combo Trophy. <laughs> oh, I don't like you either. <laughs> What's that for? <laughs> Wait, I should stop. Achieve a combat multiplier score of 30. Okay, very nice. Good place to get it, this little mini game. Leading up to our next trophy, we first have to finish what we started with Django, chasing him down through an asteroid field and dodging his seismic charges for a level challenge, bringing back some great nostalgia with one of the greatest Star Wars sounds since the lightsaber. Seismic charge, great! Next up, we're playing as Anakin as he mows down hordes and hordes of Tusken Raiders, seemingly practicing for his future massacre of the younglings. And while scaling these sandy cliffsides, we get a miscellaneous trophy for causing explosions. <laughs> oh my god! Aggressive negotiations. Defeat three enemies at the same time of an explosion. I didn't even know that was a trophy. Awesome. We then attempt to rescue Obi-Wan on Geonosis and have to get through the droid factory level, which isn't exactly exciting, especially compared to the next sections. With plenty of battles and droves of Jedi at war, the next parts of the story are really fun. We have our gang of Jedi Masters facing off against Jango Fett, and Mace Windu arrives in style and crashes the party in hilarious fashion. Master Windu. How pleasant of you to join us. This party's over. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so good. <laughs> but once again, we don't get a trophy for a while. The next one pops once we finish the entire episode. With Django defeated, it's just Count Dooku left for our finale, and once Yoda's beaten the stuffing out of him and he's scurried away with the Death Star plans, we get our trophy for episode two. Kicking off episode 3 with pure action, we seem to make a habit for crashing parties. You guys are the best! I never thought I'd make it to retirement, but here I am! <laughs> After tracking down General Grievous in his ship and dealing with his Magna Guards, he's forced to escape to Pal City, and Obi-Wan follows him there for a showdown. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Your move. At this stage in the Platinum journey, there isn't much to earn besides the trophies for each episode, with drips and drabs as we progress, so it was time to blitz through episode 3 so we can taste a fresh trilogy. Another reason for speeding through episode 3 is that I have to experience my least favourite part of the movies, my favourite character's death, Kit Fisto. In the films, he gets hit once by Palpatine and dies a pathetic, nonsensical death. The LEGO games actually gave him a fighting chance, way better than the movie, and Order 66 sucks. Order 67, on the other hand, though. Execute Order 67. Yes, my lord. No, no, not 67. <laughs> Order 66. Just before our trophy, we have the dramatic face-off between Anakin and Obi-Wan on Mustafar, and just as you know, Obi-Wan ends up with the high ground. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! On to a new hope now, and I do really hope we can get a trophy here instead of waiting until the end of this fourth episode. We gather our core gang and head to Mos Eisley to meet Chewie and Han Solo. When we hit the town, we find a door that infinitely spawns stormtroopers. Hooray! So we can pick up the trophy for shooting off helmets extremely easily. Ah, die, 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 die. <laughs> oh, they infinitely... oh, and who gave you permission? Oh, <laughs> shooting off 50 helmets. <laughs> Just like this. There's nothing left to do now besides the simple task of blowing up the Death Star, because that gives us our trophy for completing episode 4. A lot of the trophies now are coming after the story, so it's full throttle as we finish the trench run. Episode 5 begins, and I felt like taking a bit of a break from the story to grab collectibles on Hoth, as the rebel base there was quite a large hub with lots to do. The result of this meant I could fully upgrade a single class for a trophy. I was quickly see if I can fully upgrade Jedi. Oh, I just about can. I have no bricks though. 
but this will give me a trophy. Raw untamed power. Fully upgrade a character class. 20% of the way there. But like 50 hours plus of gameplay to go. <laughs> We're on a little bit of a hot streak now, as whilst taking part in a space battle, which are incredible by the way, so simple but so fun, and it gives me old Battlefront 2 vibes. Anyway, on our way to meet Master Yoda in Dagobah, we get a trophy for destroying 100 TIE Fighters. Oh, get the crews to their fighters. Boom. Destroy 100 TIE Fighters. Nice. That was quicker than I expected. Over in Cloud City, the tea party with Darth Vader doesn't go down well at all, and we are leading up to this episode's finale, Vader's battle with Luke, and his paternity test results coming back. After Luke has received his basic Jedi training from Yoda, he needs to hurry and get his booty out of the swamp and over to Cloud City to face off against Daddy Vader. <laughs> Finally, we are nearing our end of episode trophy with Luke's showdown against Vader. Luke gets himself completely overwhelmed and definitely would have needed a hand during this fight. During episode 6 we go completely dry on trophies again. The first for trophies is real at this point, as there are huge gaps between hearing that sweet trophy pop. It was nice seeing Admiral Akbar in his element though. All groups assume attack coordinates. It's a trap! So, we defeated the Emperor and uprooted the Empire, and then made it back to Endor in time for the Ewok after party. Jobs are good and Now, where's that trophy gone? The final three movies are up next, and not a single trophy was thrown our way, besides the ones for finishing each episode anyway. The biggest highlight was receiving Poe Dameron's awesome X-Wing, which I used for the remainder of the game until the Platinum. As Rey, we meet Luke Skywalker, and after the brief encounter, we pick up our trophy for finishing Episode 7. After getting a whopping 82% on our first run of Episode 7, we're moving on to Episode 8, which I can barely even remember, as the new films just seem so irrelevant now seeing as I grew up watching the originals. But the guys at Traveller's Tales absolutely killed me with this Admiral Akbar gag. I completely forgot he even died. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> After losing one of the biggest meme lords of Star Wars, we then lose Luke sometime later as well, as his force apparition keeps Kylo Ren at bay for the resistance. Then we can finally move on to finishing episode 8. The next trophies I received were for completing episode 9 and for completing every single episode, so we'll jump to that, and then we can begin the longest grind in the LEGO Galaxy. Oh yes! That was a long ass journey! Episode 9 complete. Oh, and the gold for doing 1 to 9. Now the ridiculous cleanup! <laughs> I had finally finished the story of all 9 movies to the best of my abilities, too. Some levels even being at 100% completion already, and it was time to do them all over again on free play. So, what's next, I hear you ask? I have been collecting data card collectibles which have enabled me to buy red bricks for some serious stud multipliers, and that will help us reach the 10 billion stud trophy. Then we need to collect every kyber brick on each story level, and we can do this by collecting every single mini kit and completing all the level challenges, which are probably the only challenging aspect of the game, even if it's not much of a challenge. I also needed to go back and achieve true Jedi on a few levels, but that was doable by picking up one measly stud as my multiplier was ridiculous at this point. Ooh, now I am the master. What's that for? Oh, that's getting a uh, true Jedi on every level. Beautiful. I was literally just talking about that. My next short-term goal, while still 100%ing all of the story levels, is to get the trophy for wearing a disguise 25 times as a hero class character. I was having trouble with a level challenge on this level, as it was bugged and required a workaround, but fortunately, there were so many stormtroopers that I could get a big chunk of disguises done too. You know the only good thing about replaying this level a million times? is that I can keep getting a disguise every time. The level challenge I was stuck on requires you to kill a stormtrooper with their own weapon. Now I tried equipping the special empire weapons from crates, I tried using this turret here, which worked for other people. God freaking damn it. Just can't seem to do it. Defeat a stormtrooper with their own weapon. Wait a minute. But in the end, I did it the old fashioned way, with some Jedi mind tricks. Yeah. 
Another great mission for an abundance of stormtroopers. So whilst we defend Chewie as he repairs the Millennium Falcon, Jango Fett and Leia Organa are mucking around playing fancy dress. And I worked out a nifty little method for speeding up this process. Shoot the disguise off and keep putting it back on. Rinse and repeat. Come on. 25. Nope, never mind. Okay, do your thing, Django. <laughs> okay. Don't completely murder her. Last one. Let's get the disguise. Yeah! A little short for a stormtrooper. Create 25 disguises as a hero character. Phew! Now you can take it off. <laughs> oh, she didn't die that time. <laughs> The next trophy I got was one of the big ones for the mid to late game of this Platinum, the 10 billion studs trophy. It definitely wasn't so bad once I had all the red bricks combined to give me a huge 3840 times multiplier, but I was very happy to get this one done nonetheless, and it meant I would never have trouble buying all the characters later on. And a small tip for you if you end up going for this Platinum yourself, do the space battles in the story. They give you tons of studs, especially with those multipliers. Oh yes, that's it for the 10 bill. Only one business in the galaxy, and 10 billion studs. Damn, hadn't had a trophy in hours, so I'm glad just to get one. Here I am completing the last level of episode 9, which means I'm so, so close to finishing the last level challenge and finding that last mini kit. For two trophies, I'll be so glad to hold on to. Oh, no more training do you require. That's all challenges, right? Yeah, all level challenges, finally. Come on, Kit Fisto. Let's pretend you survived this far. Oh, will you just go away? Oh, come on, was I standing in that? No, my ass. Oh, Spinny Kit! Yes, you needn't worry about your reward. Oh, I do worry about my reward. 50% of all trophies as well. Collect all mini kits. Just when I thought there was already enough to do for this platinum, I learned about capital ships. So let me enlighten you on the subject. Not only do we have to complete every event on every planet, we also need to explore and fight our way around the expanse of space to reveal enemy capital ships. And certain ships contain missions and collectibles that we require for the platinum. Wait, what? It's like having collectibles inside collectibles. So once you destroy a capital ship's defenses and take out loads of the surrounding fighter ships, you can then board each ship to then chase down and fight its captain. And after all of this fuss, you can finally purchase the ship for yourself. And then you gain access to run around the ship and explore it to your heart's desire. After capturing the Venator, I decided to leave capital ship farming until later. It was time to start getting every collectible on every planet, sector by sector, earning trophies for each sector of planets that you 100%. And my next visit was to Kashyyyk to visit the Opera. <laughs> good, good singing. I mean, it's as good as a Wookiee's gonna get singing. At this point, I was just flip-flopping around the galaxy, completing events wherever I could because of the sheer size of the game, but it was time to knuckle down. I noticed that Kamino is all alone in its own sector, so I decided to complete all the missions and grab all the collectibles there to get my first event-related trophy. Ooh, Rishi Maze. Ah, complete all events on Kamino. That's the first trophy to do a complete event. Oh, the grind is beginning. After whittling down a few more trophies, I decided to go for the data cards next. There are only 19 of them, so why not just focus on those and get them out of the way for one more trophy in the bag? Okay, I'm actually excited because I have another trophy in like four hours. <sighs> Here we go, last data card. Oh my god, that was close. Come on, up you get. Yes! What have you done with those plans? Collect every data card. Whew! Whilst actively looking for miscellaneous trophies now, I completed a long mission chain starting from the Moss Isley Cantina. I had to mind trick people into dancing so I could make the complete opposite happen later. Hey, finally, five out of five. Now that allowed gangs to spawn so that I could make five people fight at once in the cantina with Jedi mind tricks. Cue the trophy. Should get a trophy here. Hey, Jedi business. Use Jedi mind tricks to make five people fight simultaneously in the cantina. And then get out of here. For our next trophy, we are scouring the galaxy for every single mount, and after a chain of missions, we unlock the final one. A lug beast. Gonna get the trophy here for riding every mount. Oh yeah, I've never seen a real one. 
ride all creatures throughout the galaxy. What the hell is this thing anyway? It's terrible. <laughs> Next up, Yavin 4, the last planet to complete in its sector, and we end the planet's events on a mission to round up creatures called Runyips. Once all the Runyips were collected, it was time to hand in the mission to get my trophy. Here we go. Oh, poor little guys. Right, for the entire sector completion. Oh, no, we're not done yet. Of course it's a long mission to end with. We still had to destroy loads of evil seeds and then deal with those who were planting them. You evil horticulturalists. Good work. Oh, and for the sector completion, the last mission in Yavin 4. Yes, new territories. Complete all events in Cantonica, Yavin 4, and Agent Kloss. Agent Kloss, I don't even know. Okay, I don't care. I've done it. That's a whole sector done. Three planets. Whew. These three bad boys. Now back to Kashyyyk to grab some more shiny Kyber bricks. I indubitably accept this most prestigious of gifts. No singing Wookiees this time, but we do need to complete just one more puzzle to tick another sector off of the trophy list. One here. One there. One under there. And one right there. Yeah! And I think that is the last brick. 100% of Kashyyyk. Oh yeah, the slice. Complete all events on Kashyyyk and Kajimi. I'm pretty sure there's nothing on Kajimi, so that's just pointless, but yeah. 60% of the way, ah, and nearly a thousand Kyber bricks for a gold as well. For completing one of the 10 galaxy challenges, this one being for destroying 20 Stormtrooper helmet wearing mouse droids, it gives us enough Kyber bricks to finally hit that 1000 mark. A big milestone here and a gold trophy to boot. Boom! Last one. <laughs> you may fire when ready. Oh wait, that's for a thousand Kyber bricks. Yes! That's a big one out of the way. Gold trophy for that. Four Kyber bricks for taking out that last mouse droid. I'm on a roll now as everything starts coming together and we clean up yet another sector by finishing our last puzzle in Cloud City. Yay! Oh, greater Javin. I forgot about that. <laughs> that is four. Completing all events on Bespin, Crate and Hoth. As a whole other sector done. Oh, still avoiding Coruscant though. All these lovely Kyber bricks we are gathering aren't going to waste as the excessive amount of collectors so far go to good use. And they award me with another long-winded trophy. The most is safest place. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's see if I've got enough bricks. Oh, I have got enough bricks. Exactly 24, 12 each. And... Boom! Power! Unlimited power! <laughs> Fully upgrade all of the character classes. Yes! <laughs> Another one down. Next, you'll find me hunting down gonk droids. Yup! And that's because if you complete all of their escort missions, you get a trophy. Woo! You need to do every mission in the game anyway, so this does come naturally, but it was time to gonk. Yes, let's do this. For the greater gonk. <laughs> For the greater gonk. I was really certain that this was my last gonk droid for the trophy, but it didn't seem that way after all. Okay, I have a feeling this is the last gonk. Oh, it's not. As if. Oh, there's one on Mustafa there. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. Okay. You just exploded them. That gonk mission was necessary for unlocking the final gonk mission, and we find the last gonk floating around in space above Mustafar. So I headed there immediately to finish off this trophy. We fire and fury. The final gonk. Yes. All right. Where's he gone? There you are. Let's go, Gongabo. <laughs> Let's go, Gongabo. There's a lot of them after this poor little gonk here. Whoa. No, you don't. <laughs> I think he just blew himself up. <laughs> what? Gonkabo has made it with help of a stranger. The time has come. Yeah, time has come for my trophy, Gonkabo. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yes, Gonk. The final Gonk complete. Complete all the Gonk droid escort missions. Booyah. And a, go <laughs> a Gonk power cruiser. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I've got a gonk ship now. Wow, that's hilarious. Look at it. 
<laughs> Look at the uh, the pilot seats at the front. Oh, wow. Brilliant. The next trophy in my sights was for completing all 10 Galaxy Challenges. Now, I had already completed a few, but still to go were challenges such as finding every wandering Wookiee, a couple of his spawns being on capital ships, and also completing every race and shooting gallery. And a couple of those shooting galleries are on board the capital ships. So I managed to grind out all of the capital ships, except for the Death Star 2, which I had to buy later, and I knew there was a wandering Wookiee on board. So for now, it was back to collectibles, as we finish off one of the big hubs, the Ewok Village in Endor. Yo, Last brick yeah. of the sector. Give me that. Give me that sweet kind of brick. Oh, Unknown oh, regions. Oh. Complete all events on Act 2, or Act 2, whatever. Endor, Kefir, and Exegol. Beautiful. I really was on the hunt for this platinum now, and I headed to the fiery planet of Mr. Far to complete the last mission of a big chain there. Mr. Far too dangerous. <laughs> I had to help out one of the locals and then also deliver him safely to Tatooine whilst being attacked on the way. No biggie. Here we go. Final zone. And Mr. Far will be complete. So you shoot me. Oh, look that. Loop around on all of you. See you later. That's it. Done. Getting a hand this quest in. Whee! This guy must be like... Like splattered against the walls of this cargo. Hopefully he didn't vomit too much in the back there, but we safely delivered him and now we can get the trophy for it. Alright, last Mr. Far mission. Yes, Western Reaches. Complete all events on Dagobah, Mustafar, and Utapau. Yay! Thanks for cheering for me, Boba. Now to finish off another galaxy challenge. I needed to rescue 20 porgs that are scattered across the galaxy. These little guys and they could be a bit tricky to find sometimes. Hmm. I heard him. Is he in this building? Yes! There he is. Hey, buddy. Last one. Porg Patrol. Porg Patrol. After this final Porg, all I had left to do for the Galaxy Challenges was to find the last Wandering Wookiees, and I also had just one race left to do for a trophy, so I decided to snap up these trophies before continuing with the collectible cleanup. Go to the last trial. Yeah, let's go do the last trial. So, after helping this racer fix up a speeder at Nima Outpost, we unlocked our final race. I can just smell the trophy already. Here we go, here we freaking go. The last race slash trial in the galaxy. Go, 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 boost off the, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boost off the bat, let's do this. Oh, okay, it's a long one. 80 seconds to get the goal. Here we go, back on track. Half of the time is, whoa, half of the time is gone. Yeah, I'll do this easy. What am I worried about? Oh, okay. 20 seconds left. Five more gates. And trophy. The fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. Complete all races in the galaxy. What's my overall? 90% now across the galaxy. Oh yeah. It's the wandering Wookiee's time to shine now, so I made him my next target to finish off all 10 galaxy challenges, bumping into him on Naboo and then having to purchase the Death Star 2, which we have to go ahead and board to talk to him for the final time and get another trophy finished. Oh, here he is. Yes. Last wandering Wookiee. And that is also every challenge, which gives us a trophy. Hello, buddy. I don't care. I just want the trophy. There we go. Do or do not. There is no try. Complete all galaxy challenges. 81% though. Oh, come on. I want to get closer to 90. Extremely close to that platinum now. Just cleaning up the last mission slash quest in Mars's castle in Takadana. I had to round up brawlers from across the galaxy and bring them back so that they could join some sort of fight club. And the recruitments. The fight club. Hey, the interior. Complete all events on Coruscant, Jakku, and Takadana. Oh yeah, right, where next? Where next? Next we must head to the Jundan Wastes. Not only do we have a ton of missions and collectibles to grab there, I've also got to complete a big chain of Jabba missions to unlock a trophy. Then I'll also get a trophy for completing all events. Starting off with helping the Jawas first, we need to round up rogue droids and bring them back to the Jawas. Mad lad mouth <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Mad lad, you can tell these are British. Developers. This quest line is a lot of fun to be honest, wrangling these droids, each with their own crazy personalities. It didn't take too long either, thanks to good old fast travel. You can take me, do you? Bring it. Blam. This is too 
Yeah, it is easy, but oh, there we go. <laughs> it's already, I'm already defeated it before it's intro. In typical fashion, all the droids escaped once we'd captured them all, so after one more rounding up on Tatooine, we were finished with these missions and we were ready to receive the trophy. Okay, that's gotta be the last Jawa mission. Yes, it is. Hey, what are you trying to push on us? Complete all the Jawa's faulty droid missions. The Platinum is within our grasp now. With those long missions done, I had just one left in the entire game, and that was to feed the Sarlacc pit so that it spits out a Jawa's astromech droid. And along with a trophy, we will also have every single character ready to purchase later for that trophy too. Okay, now, unless we have to sit down and buy all the characters, this is technically the last character. Chuck these into the Sarlacc pit. Whee! And you should vomit out an astromech droid. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's the sector done as well. The Arcanist sector. Geonosis and Tatooine, all done. Ooh, it isn't for all the characters though. I'm gonna have to buy them all manually. Let's do that next then. So unfortunately, just unlocking the ability to purchase them all doesn't pop the trophy. So after 10 minutes straight of unlocking the remaining characters, I picked up my reward. The last two characters we need to unlock, Jocasta Nu, and who else, who else, who else? Ah, skin for Rey. This one, Rey Skywalker. Last character. Yes, hello there. <laughs> Collect all characters. I thought that was a gold, only a silver for that. I have to sit there for ages and buy everyone. 90%, oh, we're so close. Just gotta find out where I'm missing stuff. There goes one brick here in feed, let's go. So off I journeyed to the last few puzzles in the galaxy, and to my surprise I was a lot closer than I thought, as not all bricks are needed for 100%. The ones you find on capital ships do not count towards the platinum, as they are not part of a sector. Happy days! Everyone, you could have cut them off. <laughs> well, what the flip? I could do this all day! Look at him dodge, oh my days! Are you serious? He actually just does a little. Ah, oh, there we go. Give me that brick. Give me my trophy for the whole sector. Yes! Trailing sectors. Jakar, Naboo, and Pasana. Fully done. Oh! Wait a minute. See you around, kid. Complete all of the events in the galaxy. Oh my god, that's the platinum! I thought I had more! A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yes! Yes! Oh, awesome. I had no clue. I swear there was more to do. I'm not going to complain though. <laughs> it was a long journey, but I thoroughly enjoyed this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much to our patrons and members. You guys rock. See you in the next one.